Hello and welcome to Science Lab Studios and today we are here to do a dissection. We are going to be dissecting a leaf. I know this in a hat before, or you, of course you can't see your whole hat. Okay, and if you can, uh, I'll give you to see your hat because you want to feel around to you. Okay, so we are going to get to see. Maybe you want to know what is in a lizard, you want to see the internal organs, you want to study about the heart of the lizard, you want to look at the lungs, you want to see how the intestines are arranged, you could actually play around with the lizard and dissect them and get to know what is it. And so to begin with, uh, I need to show you the material that I'm using in this dissection experiment, okay? So the first thing I want to show you is the dissecting pump. So we'll be using this dissecting pump to place our lizard um, before we carry out the dissection, okay? Uh, you also need some pieces of um, equipment. So you would need uh, a scissors, you need a scissors, you need a scalpel, and then you need a faucet, and probably you need a blade, okay, so we have a blade attached to this, so these are the piece of equipment you will be using. Also, you will need pins to pin your lizard down on the dissecting uh, pan, okay? Then, because you will be cutting through the lizard, you're probably going to cut through some muscles in order for you to expose the internal organs, so you would need uh, a cutting wood, which definitely will help you to clean up whatever mess uh, of blood that will be found uh, as you're doing it. Okay, so right with me, I have the sacrificial lizard. This is the lizard that we're using in this experiment. Okay, so I'm going to pin this lizard to the dissecting pan and begin the dissecting. So I have uh, the lizard pinned to the pan, as uh, you can see. So my lizard is pinned to the pan, um, and it's very stable, okay? Although it's not going to be kick at the moment we start the dissection. Right. So the lizard is heavy and ready for dissection. Okay, now the first thing that um, has to happen to this lizard is that we will be cutting through the lizard at the lower abdomen of the lizard. Okay, we we'll make a horizontal line at the lower abdomen of the lizard. Okay, so I will need my scissors. This is when I need the scissors and I need the forceps. Okay, so what I'm doing with this forceps is that I use the forceps here and then I hold the lower part of the abdomen of this lizard and then with my um, scissors, I make um, a slit. Okay, so we've been able to make an incision at the lower abdomen of the lizard. Okay, this, this skin here has been cut through. So we'll be following this skin and we'll make a from this lower abdomen up to the neck of the lizard. Okay, so we we'll use um, the scissors to get this done. So we've been able to successfully cut through the laser um, of the fascia, connecting the organs with the, the wall, the muscle walls on both sides. So now we're done with dissecting our laser and I want you to have a look at the laser dissected. Okay, so this is the right time for us to play around with our laser is still intact and it's beating, it's still pumping blood um, to the rest of the body. So here, in the thoracic cavity, this is the thoracic cavity here, we cut open. Uh, you can see this little organ here, uh, it's looking a bit um, reddish brown in color. Okay, so look at that, you can see this organ here, alright, it's still pumping blood. Um, and if you listen to the sound of your um, heartbeat, you will see that um, it's supposed to be loop -loop, loop -loop, loop -loop. Okay, so you can see that the movement of the lizard's heart is giving us uh, something that should make us know that this uh, lizard is still alive. Can you see? It's beating. That's the heart beating right there. Okay? That's the heart beating. Um, it's telling that the heart of the lizard, for example, is that the lizard's heart has got three chambers, okay? We we'll have a right atrium and a left atrium, and then we we'll have an incompletely or partially divided. This is the aim of our dissection. Um, and I hope you've learned one or two things about the lizard and, of course, about yourself. Right, so here's a question of the day How many heart chambers do humans have? If you know the answers, Please put it in the comment section below. Um, and if you like the video, please subscribe, click the like button, and ring the bell so you can get subsequent videos from this channel. Thank you very much and see you in the next episode.